Sports is one aspect of nutrition that has been ignored for so long. If we don't take care of these young sportsmen, as they are, they've taken their, they've chosen their career in sports, we don't show them, give them hope in terms of uh, ensuring that they have all that it takes to perform all over, then we are not doing them right. So that is why I love sports in nutrition. This is a nutritional and physiotherapy clinic. Uh, you can see we have few machines for therapy purposes. Nutrition being the foundation of health and uh, an aspect that def defines uh, someone's performance and uh, ability to stay fit for life, it's, uh, I would actually say it plays a very major role in the fact that yet Kisumu is not pro producing as it is expected to. Kisumu All Stars, uh, when it was being formed, uh, I would give this to the head coach of Kisumu All Stars. Being somebody who uh, played in national teams and have worked outside Kenya, he understands the importance of nutrition in sports. So when they first formed the team, he approached me, Winnie, like they, uh, I asked them, what about nutrition? How are you going to form these sports? It's a pilot, it's a county thing. It's something that you have to set example to others. So then uh, he's like, what, Kwani, what do you mean? What can you do in terms of nutrition? Then I'm like, give us a try. Let's see what we can do. And that is how nutrition ended up in Kisumu all Widen, 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 widen. When we go for training session, we always have a talk, a pep talk after training. In this pep talk, we educate these young boys how to be economists, how to uh, make priorities in, uh, when they're doing choices. So whatever little cash they have, we teach them how to ensure they use it in the right way to ensure that they achieve the objectives of their life. So uh, apart from that, uh, we try to use whatever is available when we are giving them plans in order for them to achieve what we have. So if you like talking to them about a dinner, you have to talk about ugali that is available, omena that is available, and kienyeji or miranda that is available. Right now, what you're really focusing in is, on is the bonding, the energy, their capacity to be able to take whatever they're taking. We're looking at them in terms of who is okay. We are checking their health status. And uh, hydration also begins right away, just like now. Each and every player has got special needs. So depending on their needs, you recommend for their water and then you keep pushing them, you remind them, you tell them how important it is. And then during the game, you just ensure they do their hydration when they are having their check-in, when they are having their warm-up. You are still uh, assessing them in case you are seeing any fatigue or anything in any player, you help as soon as possible. Then also you ensure that their hydration plan is up to date. Then after, the, during the first half, that's again where we come in with a snack for them. Uh, so that those who feel that they don't have enough energy to take them through the next 45 minutes, have something to boost them up. Hydration again, after the match again, hydration. Emphasis on the after, the window of recovery foods again. Immediately after the game, you tell them, you educate them. If you're not going to camp again, or if you're at home, you tell them to ensure they do that immediately they get home. If you look at our team, we have very young boys and we are nurturing their talent by ensuring that they don't get off the pitch knock injuries and that is why we emphasize so much on recovery foods. If you look here, we have protein, we have a fruit, a fruit salad, beetroot is inside there, we have watermelon, we have, a, a, we have watermelon there to help us replace the minerals that we've lost during the game. Uh, in Kisumu, we have very hot sun. So, Electrolyte imbalance and sweating happens a lot. That is why when you are uh, giving a fruit salad, the recovery food, we also emphasize on the minerals. About nutrition, your team is very important because you have to at the, the right time. That is timely eating. Now you have to supervise your food. throughout the week. So before and after the game, you have to energy to eat your food. You have to na to avoid inafanya to avoid vitu kama kutumia supplements ama hizo drinks zenye zinazofanya tukue kwa hiyo doping risk so nutrition ni kitu muhimu kwa team ni football inahitaji energy there are special diets for recovery like you say you can be told to take uh, turmeric and carrot juice it's we blend it it's good for inflammation and joint pains 
and then for recovery fatigue you can do uh, carrot with beetroot so basically this is a special program it's very nice the sportsmen that I interact with they have no idea what they're supposed to do and the fact that I give them hope that you can get yourself doing sports naturally without using uh, drugs without using supplements to ensure that you still perform and remain relevant it's really interesting seeing them change today they're telling you today you meet them they're like I don't know what to do because I get exhausted in my first uh, 10 or 20 minutes. Then after you've gone through assessment, you've done your intervention, you've given them a plan to act on, they tell you, no, nowadays I don't even do the dome. They call it that. I'm just good. And I feel like, yes, at least I'm changing lives. At least I'm bringing the anti-doping aspects in sports. At least I'm uh, someone tomorrow will play in maybe Manchester United and not be uh, drove back home because of some small aspects like drugs in their life. Kisumu is a, a growing county, very young and promising, with so many challenges so when it comes to nutrition. Sometimes uh, they live this life where even basics, basics are not there. Even you tell them that I need you to, you know, we have a game tomorrow, I need you to take uh, Ugali for supper. I'm like, they're like, we need your Ugali, it's not there. So meeting the basics, the fact that our economy is bad, that is our main, main challenge. But uh, we are just, we work with it. When you're traveling to far areas like Mombasa or Nairobi, you have to book. Uh, prior meals, meals before you even leave Kisumu for that Nairobi place. You have to organize with the hoteliers there to ensure that they prepare for you healthy meals. Because if you just let them be there, they will do lots of spices which are not even good for their players. They will do foods that are raw, they will do foods that are not, uh, that have stayed in the refrigerator for so long that doesn't have taste though. The players will not enjoy the food and if they don't enjoy, then our game is compromised. Yes. Again, when traveling, when traveling, you organize for them the traveling snacks, healthy snacks, because if you just let them be there, you'll find them involving themselves in some other things, like alcohol and so on and so forth. So that is what we basically do as a nutritionist. I've achieved quite much, but not so much. Uh, I, I can talk about uh, myself getting a, a certification to see patients uh, privately at uh, Victoria Hospital. That is a great achievement to me because now I can see patients on my own uh, without uh, going through. So I can admit, I can see a patient who is sick needs admit, admission, I go admit and see. Yeah, so that's a great achievement. Secondly, working with small size is another achievement. It has given me uh, an perspective to give hopes to the young. Like you know, small size, we have very, very young players who have got very bright future because they're so talented. So this uh, is good because at least you're someone starting someone's life. Yeah. Um, my future plans, I believe uh, in future I'll be uh, a different person. I would have inspired so many lives. I believe that uh, in future myself, if I get where I want to be, I live in on a sports club and see how nutrition researches can be done in Kisumu and Kenya at large so that we can bring all aspects, all broads of Kenya talents into the right path. When you have a dream, don't sit back and watch. Wake up, dress up, show up, do something and have a positive attitude. Then things will just work out. Because uh, when you're doing something, God himself will be watching you and will not let you just do it and stay there. Will upgrade you to the next level. So to fellow youths, to those who are thinking that everything is then it's not over yet it's not over yet there is always tomorrow but only if you wake up and do something every team should uh, should have a nutritionist because uh, you know she advises even the players during training on what to eat to, to avoid injuries so it is important that each and every team has is or a nutritionist. And, uh, ever since she, she, uh, she's been in Kisumu All-Star, we've recorded a positive result. As you can see, 
we never lose and we are not going to lose.